Yo, bring the fire all summer long with the Big Three and your homeboy Ice Cube. Starting July 10th on CBS, Driller, and Fight TV. That's right, every Saturday. Bring the fire with the Big Three, baby. Yeah, How do you think it'd have been different? You know, for you guys in your career, if, if social media was as prevalent as it was back then as it is now, you think things have been different for you? And would you have liked it like that? Or did you like it the way it was? Um, I think it would have been a lot more billionaires if Instagram was out back then. Because you had you had people that still had a certain discipline, you know, on how to do things. See, there's a way to do it, but you have to do it tastefully. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? And m- most of the kids now is almost like a taunting. You know, people take it as them taunting or mm-hmm. you know, fronting or like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think we had a little little more discipline and I think we were more thinkers back then. It's, it, now it's kind of like a mindless thing. You know what I mean? So I, I think, but but I think we would have generated a lot more income if we had those tools and resources back then. No doubt. I'm gonna one more, one more. Not to go old, but with Jay Z, but I definitely got to ask you this because I think you were around at this time too. And you know, DMX passed away first. Did you know DMX? And um, were you there for the DMX Jay Z battle? I was there for the battle. Um, I actually battled before they battled. Okay. Um. You know, standing on the pool table and all that, all of that happened. Um, niggas pulling out guns while they rapping, all of that happened. I see a lot of people saying that they was there that wasn't there. Mm. You know, people try to insert themselves into that time capsule, into that time period that wasn't there. Um, but yeah, um, I thought I thought Jay got him, honestly. You know, maybe that's just because you know that's a hometown bias or whatever. You know, because X was definitely fire. But I, you know, I thought Jay got him. Appreciate that, brother. How oh, also back in, how'd you feel about do you know DMX intimately? And how'd you feel about when he passed away? Sorry about that. No, nah, I, I didn't really know him personally like that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. obviously I respected the skill and the craft. And um it was a tremendous loss, very unfortunate. Um he gave us a lot of memories. He made a lot of timeless music, and um, it's very unfortunate um, his passing. Did the business of the music industry take away your love from the art and, and recording of music in the hip hop? Nah, the, the the actual art of it kept me going. Where? You know what I'm saying? Where? That's what kept me sane. The creation of it. See, I'm 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 kind of like a purist. You know what I'm saying? Like I like coming up with witty shit and other records for other people. Like that's what kept me going, actually. You know, I'm not the first person to go through bad situations in business, and I won't be the last. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I try not to stay there because it prevents you, it stunts you from moving forward. So, and I, I don't mind sharing because I don't want anybody to go through those situations if i can help you avoid it because it's all about helping the next the next man right that's what it's all about it's about me trying to help you get to where you going without having to go through some of the things that i went through and that's what this shit is all about for me i don't know i can't speak for anybody else but for me that's that's my approach and not just music but in life What's your thoughts on hip hop now? We, we we have a conversation within the community and the, the media sector of our community and what's more detrimental to the black community? Is it the, the violence in hip hop? Is it drug use in hip hop? Or is it now the homosexualization in hip hop? I know that's a touchy subject and people don't like to talk about it, but we cover it here on the platform because I think it's an important conversation. Mm-hmm. If, if any, which one do you think is the worst or more detrimental? And what is your thoughts on that conversation? Is it something like we got to look past it's hip hop, it's art or nah, there's something serious to that situation that we need to look deeper into? I don't really think there's a right answer. Hmm. I think it's all, you know, I don't think, 
one is worse than the other. I think they're all the same. It's all the same. Like, you know, I don't, you know, bars like, you know, being, you know, that's your preference. Do your thing. And that's not how I live my life. But if that's how you want to live your life, do your thing. Mm-hmm. Do do am I advocate of watching little Nas X naked and on no, I'm not. I'll never get, you know, I'll never condone that because you have, you have a, you have a pretty large reach and followers and audience. And, um, there's already an emancipation of black, you know, feminine and, you know, I I don't, I gotta add to that. You know, I didn't, you know, I didn't grow up like that. So that's weird to me. That it's so that it's just out in the open like that, but I understand that as well. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody was going to do it eventually. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, I mean, it's 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 it's, it's almost like a pick your poison kind of thing. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I still see you spitting, man. I seen um probably about a month or two ago you did the lemon pepper. Freestyle and all that. So, so what's next for you, man? Um, obviously you're staying busy. Any projects? Anything coming out that people should know about? Yeah, I mean, you know, we 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 constantly working. It's not a side, working. I um shout out to uh, my brother uh, Bob Francis. You know, the brand engine, the fifteen hundred crew out there in Cali. Some good brothers. They doing some good things out there. You know. We in discussion about some things. Um, yeah, we gonna we gonna we gonna give it another go for sure. You know, I think I still got a little bit left in the tank. For sure. You know, what I mean? so um, I'm looking forward to that. And I'm excited. I'm excited. Indeed, we definitely appreciate your time. Sauce Money on the Hip Hop Uncensored Podcast, man. Leave your social media handles. Anything else you want to let the people know? You got any more questions, bro? Good. Okay, cool. Yeah, let the people know. What you got going on, man? The floor is yours, brother. Definitely appreciate your time. Nah, no doubt. Just, um, you know, we 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 also have uh, the quotables dot com um, that we're working on. There's the clothing line as well. Where? Uh, the music is coming. You know, just we just live in life. You know, I'm I'm, I'm excited. I'm and, and I'm, I'm I'm grateful to still be here and still be recognized. By you guys and some of the other media outlets and you know i just appreciate every day above ground and i, I want to thank y'all for having me on appreciate you as well brother definitely had to reach out you know, to the og man definitely prevalent in hip-hop we respect your contribution man in hip-hop man thank you platform thank you very much peace